here recently, just to clear the air, um, I got the vaccination. Today's the day. Gotta do what a punk gotta do. I'm gonna start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yah, Bashim, Yah, Shah, Bashim, Rachak, Badash. Dear ones to the elder apostles of the great millstone who grew well, and as always, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect tabernacle of David. And like the scriptures say in the Apocrypha, 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter, they that consent unto them shall be had in derision. And you know the higher ups, you know, uh, you know the, the, the men that are over. These uh, entertainers and, and court gestures, you know, you already know that uh, you know they're deriding these uh, these people, these jakes that are giving in, you know, selling their soul, which you know they already sold their soul, but now you know they're being made to uh, you know, make that decision, you know, to give they they soul and their body over to the beast. You know, Jake is losing. But, uh, hey, you know, oh, oh well. You know, two-thirds of them are, sl are slated to lose. All right, because they trust the serpent more than their own creator. He said a man got to do what a man got to do. No, that's not, that's not what a man got to do. All right? A man is not going to fold when he's under pressure. All right, that's weakness. Matter of fact, let me get a, a quick uh, scripture. And then he had the nerve to say, don't judge me. Like, basically support me in what I'm doing. <laughs> nah, you know, you, you pretty much are through. You know, you make that decision, you're, you're done. All right. Ain't no coming back. It says, uh, Proverbs 24 and 10, it says, If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. And this guy, uh, along with all these other athletes, they're showing you that they're really weak, man. They got all that strength to run up and down a court or, you know, uh, run up and down a field and, and throw a football. But uh, when it comes to uh, the enemy, when it comes to their to massa, they're very weak. You know, they submit like a good old slave, man. When you read this in the uh, the NLT, I like how it reads. It says, if you fail under pressure, your strength is too small. You know, and he's, and it's proven, you know, a lot, of the, a lot of our people are weak because they have no faith. You know, and, and that was even said in the beginning. Let's go to it in uh, Deuteronomy 30. Two. And it says, and he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. But they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. And that's why it's not a surprise to us. That our people are just constantly giving in, even despite the fact that all this, uh, you know, information, all these testimonies. Hell, Colin Powell recently, you're giving all this evidence that this man is not to be trusted, and you still are making that decision. You have no faith, you know. You 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 siding with the serpent, what you're wandering after the beast. And that's why it says in uh, Hebrews 11 chapter, around the sixth verse, it's impossible, uh, without faith, it is impossible to, 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 to please him. 
all right so that's why it's just going to end in judgment which really because he said don't judge me well ultimately the most High is going to judge you just like he just judged uh, uh colin powell all right the lord is just going to judge you the lord is known by his judgments which he executes okay because you chose to save your life for the beast's sake and for your own pleasures rather than to lose your life for the son of man's sake and now because you want to continue in your comfort comfort this is what the lord says was it luke 6 and uh 26 It says, it's like, yeah, let me, let me jump up. The yeah, Luke 6 and uh, 24 says, but woe unto you that are rich. You have received your consolation. All right. In other words, you know, because you want to be comfortable on this side, you know, you choose to be rich. Well, you already received your, your, your prize, man. You, this is your comfort. So now you're not worthy to enter into the real rest where you're going to get real uh, true comfort. All right. Woe meaning destruction unto you that are rich. And that's and that's the main motivation behind your decision is because you want to hold on to those uh, uncertain riches. So you can continue to live uh, comfortably in Babylon. So, hey, you receive your consolation, but it's only uh, temporarily. This is uh, Matthew 16 and 25. And it says, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. All right, but what is what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? We're gonna see if this is all worth it, man. Let me get another one. Let's go to Luke 12 and 19. And it says, let me as a matter of fact, let me start up. is uh, Luke 12 and uh, 15 it says and he said unto them take heed and beware of covetousness for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of things which he possesseth and Jake want to hold on to those uh, possessions and in order for them to do so they got to keep their profession their job and in order for them to do that they got to make that decision because Esau is giving them that ultimatum he's putting that pressure to them you want to continue to get these benefits you want to continue to have your career well you know what you got to do a man got to do what a man got to do nah a, a, a punk got to do what a punk got to do you know because if you was a man you will stand upon your your, your principles your, your your dignity you will you will stand up for what you believe jake don't stand for nothing man that's why I still, you know, uh, applaud uh, Kyrie Irving, you know, for, 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 you know, sticking to what he believes, you know. And it remains to be seen if he's going to continue, you know, Lord willing, you know. But if he gives in, then, hey, you know, woe to him too. But the fact that he's willing to... Uh, you know, lose his uh, life on his side. He's willing to give up his career, his, his NBA career. Hey, you know, his 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 uh, principles and belief is is uh, more valuable to him than a damn NBA career. But the same can be said for a lot of these niggas. Just bounce up and down the the court for massa. In order for him to you know make a couple million. You know, or or run up and down the field and and and, and throw a football and, and 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 juke and catch and get hit. 
you know, for for a few million uh, dollars a year. You know. Well, this is what the Lord said. All right, it says, verse 16, and he spake a parable unto them, saying, the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, what shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods later for many years. Take thine ease. Eat, drink, and be merry. All right, this, this is the consolation. But the Most High said unto him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? All that shit that you, you know, you sold out for and continue to uh, earn when your ass dropped dead and you don't know. And that's the thing. You don't know when that can happen. You know, it can happen four months, six months after you didn't took it. A year. And then what you sold out for. <laughs> who, 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 who are you going to leave it to? And is your family going to be able to maintain that if it falls into their hands? Come on, man. They don't even, they don't even, you know, consider that. You know? It says, verse 21, so is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich toward the most high. All right, so you, you, hey, you dudes are weak, man. And we're going to start seeing some of you uh, players, you're going to start dropping on that court, just like all those pilots that's 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 dropping out of the sky midair during flights. We're going to start seeing some of you uh, athletes. All right. And even, you know, some of you musicians, too, you're going to collapse right on the stage. But trusting in your enemy, man, never trust thine enemy for like as iron rust, if so is his wickedness. All right. And we ain't got to uh, 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 judge you. The most High is going to judge you. So, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, I just want to uh, do a, a, a response to that. You know, Jake is, is, is weak as hell, folded under pressure. If they want to hold on to, to, you know, those goods. You know, at least, you know, Moses, he had the integrity. Let me get that in uh, Hebrews 11. In Hebrews 11. And 24 says, by faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High, than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Showing you that it's all temporarily. You know, your, your soul can be uh, required at any given moment. That's why the Lord said, you know, who shall, uh, what shall you give in exchange for your soul? You know, it says esteeming the reproach of Hamashiach greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. For he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. And we know that that reward is, is, is the kingdom, which Yahweh Shai is coming back to crown his elect and give them the kingdom. Which is a far greater reward than anything that you can receive on this side. You know. When you start gaining those complications from 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 the damn uh, uh sauce, how are you gonna be able to enjoy uh the rest of your life? It would be it'd be better that you do die. Because death is better than uh, uh, a bitter life and continual sickness. But uh, you know, I expected that from, from Cam Newton. Of all people, you know, I, 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 I've been not liking this dude. 
You know, he's a clown, man. But, uh, you know, this is just my response. All right, just do what uh, Cam Newton, a man got to do what, it, what a man got to do. <laughs> you know, so these dudes, gonna, they're going to they gonna continue, you know, to uh, uh, give in under pressure <clears throat> to keep their profession, their careers. And they all are going to be uh, judged. So anyway, with that, I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to y'all. Bashim Yal Shai. Until the next lesson, Shalom.